So first car engine that I had hands-on experience rebuilding was a 318 Dodge and uh, that was back in high school and after that I was working on uh, small block Chevys and uh, around in my mid-twenties I uh, put together my first big block 454 and I put that in a 70 Nova and uh, I've been a fan of those engines ever since and today we're going to have a look at some blocks. So here's a typical 454 70s vintage block and uh, this is a two bolt main main caps as you can see and uh, this one still has some uh, probably original orange paint still left on it and you can bore these 60 over which ends up being a cubic inch of 468 and uh, so a nice block to have around for uh, various projects and stuff but uh, I've got a couple of these and I much more prefer uh, this setup and this is a 427 truck block and uh, they all come with four bolt mains you can see the difference in the caps. You look at the uh, four bolt there versus the uh, two bolt there. These also have thicker cylinders on them so you can bore them a hundred and uh, that's pretty much about max though. And here's the big difference on these. Look at the uh, distance from the water pump bolt to the top of the deck. You see I can kind of about put my finger in there. And then if you look at the 454 there's a lot less distance there. So they called these the tall decks and uh, what they did back then is they put an extra compression ring on the piston so they had a tall piston to deal with and then they just made a tall block to uh, accommodate the long piston. So what guys do now is they uh, you know they don't use that tall piston they use a more of a conventional style setup but they got room in there to put in a, a big stroke or crank so if you put in a crankshaft in this thing, four and three eighths stroke, and uh, you bore this thing 100 over, you can end up with uh, 520 cubic inch. So both of these blocks, they've got a little plug here on the front beside the uh, timing chain cover. Well, that's actually an oil gallery and it runs down the length of the block there. They drill them out, now there's a plug in there. See the tall deck has that too. So you gotta be careful if you put a, a crank in there that's uh, like a really ginormous and you do a lot of clearancing for those rods and uh, all of a sudden you gotta you know you gotta be careful you don't all of a sudden clearance your way into that oil gallery so that's where the aftermarket blocks are nice they move that oil gallery uh, up and along beside the camshaft and uh, so they no longer have it there and then you have room to do a lot of extra clearancing there typically though the aftermarket blocks they come clearanced you know, for uh, big stroker cranks like the uh, this this 598 here, that one I built from scratch, and that one has the oil gallery up alongside the uh, camshaft there. These blocks they also have a water jacket between the cylinders right here. Like if you cut them in half, you would see that the cylinders aren't actually joining. But on my uh, my big M block on that 598, that one has Siamese bores. But I mean, those cylinders are so big, that's a 4.6 bore. One thing though on these tall decks, sometimes uh, on a project like this, the headers won't fit the vehicle because now you've got the head sitting 0.4 of an inch higher than it normally would be. And then, uh, so sometimes you gotta do some uh, modifications on those headers. See, nice thing on these tall decks is for stroker projects, typically as the crank gets bigger, the rod also needs to get longer and uh, so that means that uh, piston needs to go up higher you know once that uh, wrist pin runs out of room there up underneath the uh, ring lands you know this uh, tall deck you know it it starts providing room for all that you know to keep it all keep it all in perspective so if you want to know the cubic inch of the engine that you're working with you know you're going to build a stroker or whatever and you know the bore size and you know the crank size well, with that you can use this formula here to figure out the cubic inch that you're going to end up with. This is another 427 block that I've got laying around. So guys, I just sort of had the itch to uh, make a video on these uh, blocks. And uh, so I got out the camera and uh, this was the result. But uh, So anyways guys, thanks for uh, checking in and uh, we'll talk to you again.